Hello friends, welcome. So we are okay with the table, we, we show what we want, so we also uh, sort, search and have pagination, the same for the post. Now in this video I'm going to add a button here, a link to go to the categories create, to create a new category and the same for posts. Add a link here and create a new post and work with a split uh, for. So let's open the VS Code and inside the routes, sorry, resources views, go in the categories first, index, and I want to add it here. So when we have these categories, is inside the slot with a name header. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this one and add the div with a class to be flex and justify between. And then inside, paste that H2, and I'm going to add a div, or not a div, I'm going to add directly the link, which is going to go to the shref of route categories create, and I'm going to add a class to be uh px4 py2 bg indigo 400 and on hover i'm going to change that to bbg indigo 600 text is going to be white and i'm going to say rounded md okay and let's say new category and close that link like this let's save and let's see now if I refresh we need uh, we have the link but text is white and we have bg indico 400 so let's run the npm run dev Yeah, now we have here the new category. Okay, now if I click, yeah, the category controller does not have that create method. Okay, but let's do the same for on the post. So I'm going to copy this, uh, all the div here, and navigate in the post index and paste it inside the header. So remove the H2 and paste that in. Just change the row to be post create and say new post here. Very good. Let's save this. Navigate to the post and we have new post. Okay. Now let's work with the uh, controller and also we need to create a new or let's save this I'm going to save this as a create blade and the same in the post so let's open this and save as a create blade so now we have the create and in the post and create in the categories let's open now the uh, controllers and category controller create the create method here so method create and we need to return that view so let's return the view categories create let's save let's do the same in the post controller So method create and let's return the view post create. Okay. Now tab nine is suggesting us and is very good. So let's come here. A refresh. Okay, where I have this problem in here. 
refresh again and now if I say new post we navigate in the create but here we need to make some changes so first let's go in the post create and instead of the table here is going to be the form so I'm going to say form here and let's navigate in the new post yeah here we have the form and let's do the same for the categories so let's say form here save and let's go to the categories new category and we have a form here okay now let's open the display documentation and let's navigate in the form overview and here we have you have a video how you can use the forms and we have an example here so let's copy this and let's navigate here when we have the form and i'm going to paste that in for the, the category if i open the models category here i have added the protective filler name and the slug so we need only the name and the slug here so let's say name is going to be name for this one and the label is going to be name so first we added the component x split for then the x split input and here you have the input example also you add the label you add the name type placeholder and so on you can go and read that so I added for the name and then for the slug and the label is going to be slug as well also we have the x split submit and if I come here now and refresh yeah we have something like this let's add in this form a class I'm going to say max with md mx auto and a p4 and i'm going to say bg white and around it to be md save come here and yeah we have something like this just in this state submit also i'm going to add the class to say just margin top of uh, four and now we have okay good now when we submit we need the form to have an action and i'm going to bind this action which is going to point to the route and we need to add the route categories store okay if i save and let's open now the categories category controller and create the store method so i'm going to say method store other request and instead of just something like this i'm going to create a new request for this one so in the terminal i'm going to say artisan make request and let's say category store a request okay hit enter then run the npm run dev just in case and here now use the category store request dollar sign request and i'm going to say category create and i'm going to say dollar sign request not all but validated and return redirect to the route index and i think this tab 9 is going to add also one called braces after so remove that now let's navigate to this category uh, store request change the authorize to be true and what we need to return here the rules name is going to be 
required and maximum of 255 and the slug and I think yeah okay also the slug is going to be required and max and the slug also on, and the name is going to be unique I think let's open the categories yeah unique both of them unique to the categories table and column is name remove this one and let's just add the same to the slug here we need to say a slug okay refresh and if I go to the categories we have something like this go to uh, go and create new one and now let's say a test category and test slug say submit we redirected back and we have 11 results if i go to the last one here is the slug test and let's say new category and if i say submit we have the name field is required and the slug field is required so we have the validation everything works correctly And I think we are okay with this video. Now I'm going to leave it to you to create a new post. The same we have for the categories, but you just try and create the new post. And I'm going to do that in the next video. So see you there and all the best. Don't forget if you like, like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.